Good evening, Rick and Vicki. Well, first, the car was driving down 10th Street, veered off of 10th Street. It ended up hitting this sign right here that is in the grass. There's still glass and debris that is on the ground here. And then it went through this parking lot of a local business and hit the house head on right over there. The landlord was out here earlier speaking with us saying they were boarding up the house just to make sure nobody tries to get inside because of the big hole that is now in this house. Police don't know why the driver veered off just yet, but neighbors we talked to today say it was a scary situation. What I hear was a big bang. At first, neighbor Enrique Cassiano thought the bang he heard was from construction. He was working inside his garage, but the commotion brought him outside. And when I work out here, that's, that's, this is what I see. He saw a car had crashed through this fence and into this house along Rhonda Drive. Vanessa Goodlow, who lives just across the street, says she then saw first responders arrive. And then we start hearing all this commotion and all these uh, fire trucks and ambulances. And I was trying to cross the street, but I couldn't get by. A neighbor who lives behind this house says she was worried when she saw police. So I walked out of my house and come over into my driveway. And that's when I seen the cops were stopped right here. So I walked over here to see what was going on. Jeffersonville Police Assistant Chief Michael McVoy says the call came in around 1215 on Tuesday afternoon. You can see the path of the car that first veered off of 10th Street. McVoy says the car hit multiple other vehicles before hitting the house. The sign was, was struck and uh, you have uh, several parking lots and uh, another side city street that uh, the vehicle traveled down the path. As for why the car veered off the road and why it had a longer path of destruction is now under investigation. Being that a minor from inside the house was taken to the hospital with injuries, he says the focus is now helping this family recover. The main goal is to make sure everybody in the house is okay, which they are, um, and then to be able to make sure that people have the resources they need to uh, um, take care of their children and their families. The driver was also taken to the hospital, but everybody is expected to be okay. Reporting live in Jeffersonville, Madison Elliott, WLKY News.